For centuries the known world to Europeans ended at the western edge of Europe. Maps depicted monstrous creatures and boiling seas beyond the familiar continents. The allure of the unknown and the promise of untold riches sparked insatiable curiosity. The quest for new trade routes to the east fueled this desire to venture into uncharted waters. Little did they know their voyages would unveil a new world and forever alter history. The motivations behind Europe's foray into the unknown were multifaceted, a blend of economic ambition, technological advancement, and religious zeal. The desire for wealth, particularly the lucrative spice trade with the East, was a major driving force. European powers sought to bypass the established trade routes controlled by the Ottoman Empire and find new, direct sea routes to the source of these valuable commodities. Technological innovations played a crucial role in enabling these daring voyages. Advances in shipbuilding such as the development of the Caravel, a highly maneuverable and sturdy ship, made long-distance voyages possible. Improvements in navigational tools including the astrolabe and the compass provided explorers with greater accuracy in charting their course across vast oceans. The desire to spread Christianity also factored into the equation. The fusion of these economic, technological, and religious motivations created a powerful impetus for exploration, setting in motion a series of events that would reshape the world. In 1492, Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer, embarked on a voyage that would change history. He set sail with three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. After weeks at sea, land was sighted, and Columbus claimed it for Spain. This encounter marked the beginning of European contact with the Americas. His voyages sparked a wave of exploration and colonization. The Colombian exchange had both positive and negative consequences, shaping history. Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian explorer and cartographer, played a pivotal role in recognizing the Americas as a new continent, distinct from Asia. Unlike Columbus, who believed he had reached the East Indies, Vespucci's voyages along the South American coast convinced him that this was a landmass entirely unknown to Europeans. His detailed accounts of the geography, flora, fauna, and indigenous peoples of this new world captured the imagination of European scholars and mapmakers. Vespucci's voyages, undertaken between 1499 and 1502, provided valuable information about the coastline of South America. His maps and descriptions of the new continent circulated widely in Europe challenging the prevailing belief that Columbus had reached Asia. In 1507, a German cartographer, Martin Waldseemuller, published a map that incorporated Vespucci's findings. Recognizing the significance of Vespucci's contributions, Waldseemuller named the new continent America in his honor. Vespucci's legacy extends beyond the naming of the Americas, playing a crucial role in expanding European knowledge of the globe. Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer sailing for the Spanish crown, embarked on an expedition that would forever cement his place in history. In 1519, he set sail with five ships, aiming to find a westward route to the Spice Islands, also known as the Moluccas, in present-day Indonesia. Magellan's voyage was driven by the desire to find a new trade route to Asia that would bypass the Portuguese-controlled routes around Africa. After navigating the treacherous Strait of Magellan at the southern tip of South America, his fleet emerged into the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, which he named Mar Pacifico for its seemingly peaceful waters. Despite the hardships, Magellan's expedition achieved what was once thought impossible, circumnavigating the globe. Although Magellan himself did not survive the entire journey, his expedition marked a turning point in human understanding of the world. The voyage provided concrete evidence that the Earth was round and demonstrated the interconnectedness of the world's oceans. The encounter between Europe and the Americas triggered an unprecedented exchange of goods, plants, animals, and diseases, the Columbian Exchange, that had a profound impact on both hemispheres. Foods native to the Americas such as tomatoes, potatoes, corn, beans, and chocolate were transported to Europe, transforming European cuisine and agriculture. The introduction of new crops, particularly the potato, had a significant impact on European populations, contributing to population growth. Conversely, European crops such as wheat, barley, and grapes were introduced to the Americas, along with livestock like cattle, pigs, and horses. These introductions had a transformative impact on the Americas, shaping the landscape and influencing the diets of indigenous populations. However, the exchange was not without its downsides. 
European diseases such as smallpox, measles, and influenza ravaged indigenous populations in the Americas who had no immunity to these foreign illnesses. The Columbian Exchange, while facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas, also highlights the unintended consequences of globalization and the complex interplay of factors that shape human history. The arrival of Europeans in the Americas had a profound and often devastating impact on indigenous populations. Many indigenous groups with their own unique cultures, languages, and ways of life initially welcomed the Europeans with curiosity and a degree of trust. However, these initial encounters were often marked by misunderstanding, cultural clashes, and the exploitation of indigenous peoples and resources. European diseases such as smallpox, measles, and influenza spread rapidly among indigenous populations who had no immunity to these foreign illnesses. The resulting epidemics decimated indigenous communities, weakening their ability to resist European encroachment on their lands and ways of life. Despite the challenges, many indigenous groups demonstrated resilience and adaptability in the face of European expansion. They formed alliances with different European powers, engaged in trade, and resisted encroachment on their lands and cultures. The discovery of the Americas ignited a scramble for control among European powers, leading to the rise and fall of vast empires in the New World. Spain, Portugal, England, France, and the Netherlands all vied for territory, wealth, and influence in the Americas. The Spanish, with their early conquests in Mexico and Peru, established a vast empire that stretched from present-day California to the southern tip of South America. The Portuguese, meanwhile, established a strong presence in Brazil, while the English, French, and Dutch established colonies along the eastern coast of North America and in the Caribbean. These colonial empires were built on the exploitation of indigenous labor, natural resources, and the transatlantic slave trade, which brought millions of Africans to the Americas in chains. The clash of empires had a profound impact on the geopolitical landscape of the Americas, shaping the borders and demographics of the region for centuries to come. The encounter between Europe and the Americas resulted in a complex and enduring legacy of cultural fusion. The exchange of ideas, customs, and traditions between indigenous peoples, Europeans, and Africans brought to the Americas through the transatlantic slave trade led to the emergence of new and distinct cultures in the New World. The blending of indigenous, European, and African musical traditions gave rise to new genres of music, while culinary traditions fused, creating distinctive cuisines that reflect the diverse heritage of the Americas. Languages evolved, incorporating words and phrases from different cultures, reflecting the complex interplay of languages in colonial societies. The legacy of cultural fusion is visible in the art, architecture, and religious practices of the Americas, showcasing the enduring impact of this cultural exchange. Understanding the complexities of cultural fusion is essential for comprehending the rich tapestry of cultures that make up the Americas today. The echoes of European exploration and colonization continue to resonate in the Americas today. The political boundaries, demographic makeup, and social structures of many countries in the Americas are a direct result of the historical events set in motion by European arrival in the 15th century. The legacies of colonialism, including economic inequality, racial tensions, and the struggle for indigenous rights, continue to shape the social and political landscape of the region. The transatlantic slave trade, a dark chapter in human history, has left an indelible mark on the Americas, shaping racial dynamics and contributing to systemic inequalities that persist to this day. Recognizing and understanding the long-lasting consequences of European exploration and colonization is crucial for addressing contemporary issues and fostering a more just and equitable future for all people in the Americas. By acknowledging the past, we can work towards a future that learns from historical injustices and strives for a more inclusive and equitable society. The European quest for the Americas stands as a pivotal chapter in human history, marking a turning point in the relationship between continents and cultures. Driven by a thirst for knowledge, wealth, and power, these voyages unveiled a new world and set in motion events that would forever alter history. The encounter led to the exchange of goods, ideas, and diseases, transforming both hemispheres profoundly. It resulted in the devastation of indigenous populations and the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade. 
This period reminds us of the interconnectedness of human history.